Welcome to this video for the instructions for the site layout of a tilting tower. For this process, the following tools are needed. The tower manual site layout diagram with dimensions, a transit with tripod and plumb bob, a surveyor's measuring tape, and six marking flags. The site layout diagram shows a bird's eye view of the six locations needed for a tilting tower installation. The diagram shows the tower, the guy wires, and the guy radius. Step 1. Locate the base plate. Set up the transit where the base of the tower will be located. To level the transit, align the telescope with two of the leveling screws. Adjust the leveling screws until the bubble is in the center of the level. Rotate the telescope 90 degrees and adjust the third leveling screw until the bubble is again in the center of the level. The telescope should now be able to be rotated in any direction and the bubble will remain in the center of the level. Next, use the plumb bob to find the center point located beneath the transit to place a flag that will represent the base plate location. Step 2. Locate the back or uphill guy anchor. This is the direction the tower will be assembled on the ground, so make sure there is plenty of room in this direction. Extend a measuring tape the correct guy radius from the base plate flag to the front uphill guy anchor. The guy radius is provided in the specific tower's manual. In this case, the guy radius is 10.7 meters. Place a flag at the guy radius distance from the base plate in the direction where there is room to later assemble the tower on the ground. Sight the telescope onto the flag. Use the focus knob if necessary. With the flag directly in center of the crosshairs, set the rotational degree identifier to zero degrees. Step 3. Locate the right side guy anchor. Rotate the telescope clockwise until the rotational degree identifier is set to 90 degrees. Again, use the measuring tape to find the guy radius. Look through the telescope, directing the person with the flag left or right until their flag is located in the center of the crosshairs of the telescope. Once they have found the correct angle, have them place the right side guy anchor flag at the guy radius. Step 4. Locate the left side guy anchor. Rotate the telescope 180 degrees. Next, extend the measuring tape in that direction to the guy radius. Look through the telescope and direct the flag holder left or right until they have the flag located in the center of the crosshairs of the telescope. With the correct angle found, place the flag at the correct guy radius. Step 5. Find the most level side guy anchor locations. Make sure the locking bar is in place to ensure the telescope is level. Look at the elevation height shown on the measuring tape for the left side guy anchor. Rotate the telescope to view the elevation of the right side guy anchor. Move one side at a time to decrease the difference in elevation.
Use the rotational degree identifier to ensure the two sides stay at a 180 degree relation to each other. In other words, the base plate should be in a straight line with the two side guy anchors. Once the most level side guy anchor locations have been found, reset the rotational degree identifier to 90 degrees while looking at the left side guy anchor. Step 6. Relocate the back uphill guy anchor. Rotate the telescope back to the zero degree mark to find the back uphill guy anchor location that is 90 degrees in relation to the new side guy anchor locations. Again, have someone use the measuring tape to find the correct guy radius from the base plate flag to the back uphill guy anchor locations. Direct them left or right until the back uphill guy anchor flag is in the center of the crosshairs on the telescope. Step 7. Locate the front downhill guy anchor. Rotate the telescope 180 degrees using the rotational degree identifier. Use the measuring tape to find the correct guy radius from the base plate to the front downhill guy anchor location. Look through the transit, directing the flag holder left or right until their flag is located within the center of the telescope crosshairs. With the correct angle and guy radius location found, place a flag to mark the front downhill guy anchor location. Step 8. Check the diagonal dimensions. Use the measuring tape to find the distance between the four locations shown here. This diagonal distance is provided in the tower installation manual. For this example, the diagonal distance is 15.1 meters. Make any necessary changes checking the angles using the transit to ensure the flags are still 90 degrees apart from one another. Step 9. Locate the gin pole lifting anchor. Use the measuring tape to find the correct distance from the base plate to the gin pole lifting anchor. In this case, the distance is 6.1 meters. The anchor is located along the same angle as the front downhill guy anchor, only at a shorter distance. Direct the flag holder left or right until the flag is located in the center of the crosshairs of the telescope. 
With the correct distance and correct angle found, place a flag to represent the gin pole lifting anchor location. This is the final location needed to complete the site layout of a tilt-up tower.